Hello students. Good morning to you all. I am Shagupta, your maths teacher. In our previous class, we have learnt about comparing numbers. It was fun to learn it, isn't it? Let us study about larger numbers and use of commas in today's class. Chapter 1 Knowing our numbers. I recommend you all to get ready with a pen and a notebook while watching the maths class. Dear children, I have written 9 digits here. Can you see? From 1 to 9. So, can you identify the smallest digit here? Yes, the smallest digit is 1. 1 is the smallest digit right which is the biggest digit then obviously the biggest digit is or we can also call as greatest the greatest one digit number is 9 smallest one digit number is 1 greatest one digit number is 9 let us see what happens when we add 1 to this greatest one digit number for example here the greatest number is greatest one digit number is 9 right greatest one digit number is 9 when we add plus 1 to that, 9 plus 1, what is the answer we got? 10. How many digits are there in 10? See, 1, 2. This is a 2 digit number. Right? 2 digit number. And this is the smallest 2 digit number. Then shall we find out which is the greatest two digit number then 10 11 12 13 these are all two digit numbers 15 16 17 and so on if i write 99 the next number is 100 but this is not the two digit number so consider 99 so 99 is the greatest two digit number smallest two digit number is 10 this is the smallest two digit number the greatest two digit number is 99 Just like previously we have added plus 1 to the greatest 1 digit number, let us add plus 1 to this greatest 2 digit number. See here, 99 plus 1. What is the answer? 100. So when you add plus 1 to the greatest 2 digit number, you get smallest three digit number so 100 is the smallest three digit number likewise if we consider greatest three digit number which is the greatest three digit number you can just follow the similar pattern see one nine is the greatest one digit number one nine right here nine and nine two times if you are writing nine and nine that is greatest two digit number then greatest three digit number will be nine 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 simple you just have to write three times nine when you add plus one to this greatest three digit number you will get smallest four digit number can you see So here we have got smallest four digit number, smallest four digit number. 
like this we can find out smallest and greatest numbers so the smallest four digit number is 1000 shall we find out smallest five digit number okay then let's move now consider the greatest four digit number greatest four digit number means you should write four times nine 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 and nine it is nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine when you add plus one to that the answer will be you can solve it vertically also if you are getting confused see 9999 plus 1 always begin addition from 1's place 9 plus 1 10 again 1 plus 9 10 1 plus 9 10 1 carry 1 plus 9 10 what is the answer we got here 10,000 10 how many digits are there 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the smallest 5 digit number smallest 5 digit number likewise we can also find out the smallest 6 digit number by considering greatest five digit number see greatest five digit number will be you should write five times nine one two three four five five times nine it means ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine when you add plus one to this the answer will be again you can solve vertically ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine plus one 9 plus 1 is 10, 1 carry, 1 plus 9, 10, 1 carry, 1 plus 9, 10, 1 carry, 1 plus 9, 10, 1 carry, 1 plus 9 is 10. So the answer is 1 lakh. One lakh. How many zeros are there in 1 lakh? 5 zeros. And how many digits? It is totally six digit. So smallest six digit number is one black. Smallest six digit number is one black. We shall see the smallest seven digit number and smallest eight digit number also. Consider now the greatest six digit number means you should write six times nine 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 and nine it means nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine if you add plus one to this again the answer will be so nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine plus one 9 plus 1 is 10, carry 10, again a carry, 1 plus 9, 10, carry, 1 plus 9, 10, 1 carry, 1 plus 9, 10, 1 carry, 1 plus 9 is 10. What is the answer? 10 lakhs. So 10 lakh is the smallest 7 digit number. Smallest seven digit number next the last one to find out the smallest eight digit number consider the highest or the greatest seven digit number that is seven times you should write nine two three four five six seven right now add plus one to this see So add plus one ten one carry I hope you are I hope you are following this 
Then what? So what is the answer? This is called one crore. How much it is? One crore. One crore. Hundred lakh is one crore. So how many zeros in one crore? See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven zeros. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Dear children, try to remember this. Don't mug up, but understand it. Okay? See here, one hundred. In one hundred, how many tens should be added to get one hundred rupees? If you have ten rupees notes, only ten rupees notes. Many notes are there. How many should be collected to make it hundred? Hundred rupees. How many notes should be collected to make it hundred rupee? Just think of it. One ten is if you if you take one ten rupees, then it is ten. If you take another ten, it becomes twenty, right? If you take another ten, it becomes thirty rupees. Another ten forty. Another ten fifty. Likewise, if you take ten notes of ten rupees, you will get. One hundred rupees. Okay, so one hundred is equal to ten tens. Ten times the ten rupees notes. Okay, next one thousand rupees. If you are having a bundle of hundred rupee notes, how many notes should be needed to make it thousand? Yes, ten hundred notes. Hundred rupees notes. You need ten to make it thousand. Or if you have, if you are having a bundle of ten rupee notes, you should collect hundred notes of it to make it thousand. So one thousand is equal to ten hundreds or hundred tens. Likewise, one lakh is equal to one hundred thousands or One thousand hundreds. One crore is equal to one hundred lakhs, or ten thousand thousands. Just repeat after me. One hundred is equal to ten tens. One thousand is equal to ten hundreds, or hundred tens. One lakh is equal to One hundred thousands, or one lakh is equal to one thousand hundreds. And one crore is equal to hundred lakhs, or one crore is equal to ten thousands, ten thousand thousands. Do remember this chart. It will be helpful to solve your exercise problems later. The next topic is. Use of commas. So why do we use commas, and where to use, and how to use? Let us discuss. Before that, let me tell you, there are two types of numerations. One is Indian system, and another one is international system. Indian system is used in India, and international system is used worldwide. So these all you have already studied in your previous classes. That is in your fifth standard, right? Let us just recall that. So in Indian system, the place values will be ones, yes, tens, hundreds, thousands, next, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh, and crore, right? Whereas in international system. The place values will be ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand. See, here is the difference. After ten ten thousand, it is hundred thousand in international system. Okay, in international system, after ten thousand, the next place value is hundred thousand. But Whereas in Indian system, after ten thousand it is lakh. 
okay so from here the difference starts hundred thousand after hundred thousand it is million then ten million and if there is another digit it will be hundred million so in Indian system the first period is a group of three numbers that is hundreds period the next one next is the group of two numbers it is thousands period in thousands period the two place place values are thousand and ten thousand next period is it is a period of again two numbers zero and eight that is lakhs period lakh ten lakh next will be crore ten crore okay first period is three numbers next two and next two and next will also be two and so on whereas in international system the first period is of three numbers it is ones tens and hundreds hundreds periods okay the next is thousands period is also three numbers thousand ten thousand hundred thousand okay hundred thousand this is thousands period and the next will also be a group of three digit so zero five and if they give another number that num that digit will also come in millions period okay so according to this periods we write the commas for example here five zero eight zero one five nine two right so first period is three digits so after three digit write down the comma after two digits write down the comma third period is also two digits comma in the simple words in indian system the first we have to count three digits afterwards go on counting two two digits after in between we have to put the commas three digit comma two digits comma two digit comma again two digits comma and so on see the, see the international system we should write the comma as five zero eight zero one five nine two right every three digits is one period three digit so one two three comma one two three comma this is only the difference okay in Indian system the commas how we should allot after three digits then two digits then two digits and so on in international system no confusion after every three digits we have to write down the commas let us see one more example so first we will allot commas according to the Indian system so what does Indian system says first period is after three digit one two three comma next rest all are after two digits one two comma one two comma whereas in the international system it is after every three digits one two three comma one two three comma okay shall we read them yes once tens hundreds thousands ten thousand lakh ten lakh and crore this is which system Indian system so next in the international system how to write ones tens hundreds thousand ten thousand after ten thousand remember it is hundred thousand in the Indian system it is lakh but here it is hundred thousand after hundred thousand million ten million so shall we write, read three crore thirty two lakh forty thousand seven hundred and eighty one I repeat three crore see the place values three crore thirty two lakh forty thousand seven hundred and eighty one 
whereas in the international system we read it as 33 million 240,781 you can also repeat after me try it yes 33 million 240,781 you can also write this number names in the words okay i hope this concept is clear to you kindly note down your home assignment assign commas and write the number name in indian and international system so that's all in today's session let us meet again with a new topic in the next class thank you